Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Andy Nevin, today's video, the 20,000 calorie challenge. I'm not going to lie about this one, I'm really excited for it, can't wait to taste all the food, and I'm going to be honest about it, I think I can conquer it. A little bit of background, for those of you who don't know me, I'm 21 years of age, I'm a YouTuber, I'm big into Snapchat, I'm also an online coach, and I'm from Athlone in Ireland. Without further ado, it's the 20,000 calorie challenge, baby. Let's go. So for breakfast, we're gonna have three Oreo donuts from Tesco. We've got two vanilla creams. We've got two strawberry ice cream donuts. We've got 60 grams of maple syrup. We've got water, a pint of water. This is coming in at 2,332 calories. I'm gonna get a knife and a fork to eat it with, and I think it's gonna be tasty, so let's get cracking. I forgot to give you the starting time on the meal. It's now 7.08. It was 6.53 when I started. Um, I'm gonna take a little break right now for about 10, 15 minutes and then come back and finish it off. Lads, just after going for like a 20 minute snooze there, it's now 7.34. I feel a little bit refreshed after kind of like a power nap and I'm just after making myself a quick cup of tea. So I'm feeling confident now I can polish this off because I, I wouldn't say I hit a brick wall, but it did get quite tough. So I said I'd take a little nap, um, get a cup of tea, and then hopefully I can slot these down into me. So 7.34, about to go and finish off. Uh, we got like one and a quarter vanilla cream, one strawberry ice cream donut, and one Oreo donut. And there's not much left and then maple syrup, so let's hope we can just destroy it. Right lads, that's breakfast out of the way, two strawberry donuts down, um, two vanilla creams down, and then three Oreo donuts down, I think it was about 2,300 calories, something like that, we'll throw it up on the screen for you, um, the time is, would you look at that, 8 o'clock, so, 8 o'clock now, got a nice few calories into me already, um, I'm feeling confident for the rest of the day. And you know what? The biggest thing here is I don't feel awful. I feel decent. I think it's the little naps, the little breaks that are going to be crucial to me completing the challenge. Um, I feel good. I feel really good. Honestly, I do. Um, so yeah, we'll check in with you with the next meal. Time is now 9.24, guys. They're going to be tasty. They are tasty. I'm not going to lie. The caramel, the caramel is just tasty. I'm not even a huge cookie lover, but these, these are downright naughty. Three cookies left on the plate, guys. Um, I'm after coming up with a genius idea. So give me five minutes and you're gonna see an absolute creation going on. All right, lads, we're back. We're also going for a tactical substitution. It's Oreo time, baby. Look at these, they're tasty. They're after giving us a new lease of life and we're gonna mix them in with the haagen strawberry berries and cream. We have the cookies here, the remainder of them, of them, sorry. I think we're gonna give them a miss though because 
they're getting quite thick and heavy and I just, to be honest, I couldn't wait to get out this meal. So we're going to put it into the bowl and go for it. The time is now 9.53, so let's get digging on into this. It's going to be so tasty. Finishing up the last of this Oreo Haagen-Dazs meal. Here we go. Oh, that was so tasty. Right, the time is now 10.34. So a bit of breathing space now to have before our next meal. Feeling pretty confident going into the takeaways now um, in the restaurants. So yeah, it's glad to have that one down into me. And let's head on over to the next one. What's happening lads? We're here outside KFC. We're about to make our way in for restaurant number one. We're going to take you on inside and show you what we're about to get. We're here in KFC guys. I'm after going for two three piece meals. It's over a thousand calories in each meal and then we're after going for the gravy as well. It's gonna be tasty, so we're gonna get snacking into it. Finishing time, 13.26. We're just about to head into the gym, guys. Not too sure if we're gonna be recording too much because we wanna be sticking mainly to the foods. We're gonna get in a little session. Gonna try mainly burn a few calories, so I'll be hungrier later on. We'll catch in with you in a bit. Finished in the gym, guys. Got a nice little session on. Bit of cardio, bit of biceps, triceps, just some enjoyable stuff. The time is now 15.40, we're about to head into the BK lounge, see what the story is, we'll see if it's too busy or not, I really want to get something in there, so yeah, let's head on in, see what the story is, and hopefully we'll get some food. Right lads, we're here in Burger King, we're after getting the bacon XL meal, so we're after going for the bacon double cheeseburger, I think there's like 12 onion rings, something like that in there, and the fries, two dips, we're going to get tucking on into this, starting time is, let's get going. Right, we're after changing things up, we're after going for the strawberry sundae. I think it's about 240 cals. And then we're after going for two apple pie sticks. 216 cals for the two of them, only two of them in the packet, so hopefully they'll go down nice and easy. Finishing time, 
we're after going for the tactical change from the fries to the Sunday and the apple pie or whatever it was. It's after paying off close to a 2,000 calorie meal after going down, we're going to make our way on over to McDonald's now and see what we can do that way. From once here at Burger King, it's over. Check out this bad boy. Two big chocolate muffins and two dairy milk McFlurries. Current time, we're gonna abort mission here at McDonald's. This is how much of it we've left. So we're gonna just bring it home, put it in the freezer, and then have it later on. Can't physically can't stomach it right now, so we're just gonna get to it later on. That's how much is left. See you in a while. Back in the kitchen, guys, gonna go for these tasty fair rachets. But around about 1200 calories in the box. I'll throw it up on the screen for you now. Starting time is gonna be 1914. They're going to go down nicely with this cup of tea that I have right here. And then also, we're going to see how much of these cola bottles we can consume. Almost a kg of cola bottles here. I got them without the sugar on the outside, so hopefully they go down a lot easier than the sugary ones. There's going to be a lot of calories in them, so we'll see how we go for now. It's Ferrer Rocher time with the cup of tea. I fancy this to go down nice and easy, so let's go for it. It's now 1922. Have four of these to go. Um, to be honest, they're not going down as easy as I thought. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna leave them four there for the moment. Just up there. And then I'm gonna try tackle as you know as many of these as possible. So almost a kg of cola bottles. Got my little bowl here as well, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just try and eat as many of these as possible. Um I just, I got fairly sick of the chocolate. They're just, you know what, they start getting surprisingly heavy midway through. So I have 12 out of 16 Ferrero Rochers down. And I'm just opening up this tin of cola bottles. Um, so I'm starting the cola bottles at 19.23. So 19.23, cola bottle time. Let's go. Hey lads, my phone died there. As you can see, nothing has moved though. Still have the same amount of cola bottles, same in the tub. You'll be able to see later on. It's now 1952. So I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen cola bottles left to go. So I'm gonna get these into me and then we'll see what happens for the rest of the night. Right, let's get digging into them. Around 1958, um, so I only spent a couple of minutes at them. I just felt as if I need to put a few away, come back to them later, refocus, need to get my head in the game. Um, so yeah, this is how many is left, and we will come back to that and consume it. We will get through them all, promise me. I just need to rethink things, get my head around it, and make it over the finish line.
There you have it lads, 12 minutes past nine. Finally got them finished. Fur Rocher's down, all them cola bottles down. It's time to make our way over the final few hurdles. I won't lie, it's getting tough, but I think now I've come so far, I, c I just have to go through with it. 21.59, about to get cracking back into that McDonald's meal that we had earlier. Couldn't finish it off there, so we said we'd bring it home. It doesn't look the tastiest right now. I think I'm gonna put it in the microwave, heat it up, and just get it into me. I'm hoping that chocolate muffin and the Mac flurries can be a tasty combo after the microwave. So I'm just gonna get it into me, get going with this challenge. We're almost there. Right lads, the time is 22.11. After getting that into, into us, it wasn't that tasty at all. It didn't even go for the microwave in the end. It's time to make our way onto the final hurdle now. Thank God that's out of the way, you know that? That was a real struggle. Ooh, it wasn't that tasty at all. Lads, final meal. I oh, know. Time is 23 o'clock. Had to swap over to Charles's phone. So her phone won't charge up, so it's finished. Uh, it's now 11 o'clock. We're about to make our way onto our final meal. We're gonna have this Goodfellas sweet chocolate brownie pizza. Here it is. We're gonna chop it up. And we're gonna have this Malteser bar as well. I think I might melt this and put it in the microwave and then put it on top of the pizza. So yeah, we're gonna dive right into this and just finish off this challenge. Wow, it's been an absolute marathon. And I'm looking forward to getting to the end of it now. We're after melting the Malteser bar, all of it, and we're gonna dish it on top of this chocolate brownie pizza. It's gonna be the end of it, so let's go for it. Look at this. Just dip that on there, all the way on all the slices. The pizza is actually amazing, you know that. I'm not, I'm not even a big chocolate fan, uh, but this pizza is unbelievable. So let's dish this right here. Mmm. Very crunchy. Very tasty. I want to make sure I get everything well as much as possible out of the bowl because you don't want to be missing out on this. Mm. So yeah, whole Malteser bar melted and put on top of, that's it, that's done. Put on top of the chocolate brownie pizza. And we're going to go for this now. I'd say it's going to be incredible. Let's go for the first bite, actually. Let's do it right now. Unbelievable. Wow. That is tasty. Time is 23, 33, it's half 11. We're finished challenge, guys. I hope you enjoyed it because to be honest, towards the end, I didn't. Um, 
share it with a friend of yours who think they can eat a lot of food like comment subscribe and tune in next time if you like these videos let me know and i might do one again in the future i think i'm going to stay off this type of food for a long time now though see you later